Okay, so finally I've been able to make some more tutorials again and this is going to be part one of this butterfly animation tutorial that I'm going to be showing you step by step how to make in Blender. So this is going to be three parts. So this is part one, we're going to do most of the modeling stuff. But on the end result, we're going to have this nice butterfly sitting on here and we're actually going to be doing this with some picture projection. So I'm going to provide the resources that you need in the description below and I will be uploading my final results to my Patreon as well. So hopefully you guys can stick around for part one, two and three and you can also have this really kind of cool butterfly animation as well which you can be proud of and show your friends so let's jump in and have some fun so first of all you can go into the description below you're going to find two images that i've put into the description so the first one is this one here of a butterfly just go ahead and click on free download and download the highest um, resolution okay and then there's another one you can actually pick whichever leaves you want but this is the one i went with so um here you can see, I'm gonna put that one in the description below. So those two are on my desktop. You can see here they are. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to open up Blender, which I already have over here. So Blender's opened up. And I'm gonna go into my front orthographic view. I like to just delete all of the default objects. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my first image, which is the one of the butterfly. I'm just gonna drag it right into the middle of the scene here, like that. So now I have this butterfly image here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go G, Y and move it back a little bit. So when I put a mesh object here, it's not intersecting with the plane. Also, just another little thing, just I prefer to work like this. With this still active, let's just go over to its properties and let's just enable opacity and let's just bring that down, okay? So you wanna see the outline of it here, pretty much. We're now gonna go Shift A, we're gonna add in a plane. We're gonna go R, X, 9, 0 and we're gonna press Enter. Let's just go Control A and just apply that rotation. So later when we work with the mirror modifier, it doesn't mess things up. Okay, so now we have this roughly in place. Let's go to wireframe and let's tab into edit mode. And uh, in fact, let's just tab out quickly. Let's just go G in object mode and just move it to the origin point. It's more closer to where the wings begin. Then we're gonna tab into edit mode and then we're gonna go S to scale that down. And at this point, we're gonna start constructing the wings. We're gonna go R to rotate it at about a 45, place it here. You can actually see there's two wings here. There's one major wing and then another one overlapping here. So let's make the first little one. So um, actually let's bring it down this way here, like that, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna um, grab these two verts over here. We're gonna go E to extrude, bring it over here, and then we're gonna bring this vertex over here. Then we're gonna select these two verts, and we're gonna go E to extrude, bring them over here, and it go like this. And then we're gonna grab these two here. We're gonna go E to extrude one more time and then bring this one like that. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna select this vertex, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. So we have these six of them active. We're gonna go E to extrude and extrude it out. Then we're gonna go S to scale. And we're gonna bring it so this now is over here like this. We're gonna space them apart like that. So if I now go into solid view, you can see this is what we have. So we're now gonna select these six again. We're gonna go E to extrude, S to scale, and then just move them roughly in place, line them up like so. And let's make that look a bit neater. Let's select them again, E to extrude, S to scale. Let's space them apart. And at a certain point, it's gonna start losing topology. So we're gonna go Control R, add in a loop, just left click twice and then just move the vertex here at the end just to neaten that up. So wherever you feel you need to add in more topology, you can do that. So I'm gonna move that. And then I'm gonna go E to extrude again. And I keep going like this. Control R to add in a loop. Let's move it here. And then over here, what I'm gonna do, I suppose we can extrude it one more time, this edge, we're gonna extrude it, scale it, move the verts into place. But at a certain point, I'm gonna bring this one here closer to the edge, like this. And now I'm just gonna select these ones here. And I'm gonna go E to extrude, S to scale, bring them towards the end, E to extrude again, S to scale. And now I'm just gonna line the tips up like this, just neatening them out. Okay, there we go. This doesn't have to be the best topology in the world anyway, but now you can see we have the first wing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna press A to select the whole thing. Then we're gonna go Shift D to duplicate, 
right click to let go and then we're going to press H to hide it okay so now we just have this one here the other one is hidden but it's still there now we're going to take this one we're going to enable proportional editing and we're going to go G and we're just going to move and you can roll your middle mouse button to control the fall off but we're just going to make the other wing by lining this all over it like that and let's grab this one here let's drag that out if you have to add in more topology in some places that's fine I'm just gonna go with this maybe add one in here control R double click move this up so this is completely up to you how you want to do this I'm not gonna be too worried about topology here um, there we go now I'm gonna go alt H to unhide the previous wing and then I'm going to also disable proportional editing. Now I'm going to just select a vertex on a smaller wing, control L and I'm going to go G, Y and just move it forward a little bit like that. So now we've got these two wing flaps. I'm going to tab back out and now what we're going to do is we're going to go over to our materials. We're going to create a new material. Let's call it butterfly. And what we're going to do is we're going to come over to our base color here under the materials property and let's give that an image texture. Let's go to the drop down and we should see that butterfly texture in here because we dragged it into here. Now all we have to do is go into our UV editing, go into our front orthographic view, come over here to the drop down and let's just choose that butterfly image. You can see here and over here we're going to press A to select all of this topology in edit mode and then you're going to press U on your keyboard so the U key and then you're going to go unwrap and let's just go with the, um, let's do project from view. Okay, and then we're going to select the topology over here and we're just going to go G to move it and line that up to the wing and then S to scale it and then get it as close as we can to matching over here on the image. And what we're going to do over here is over here we can come up to the top, just scroll over to the side, come to the drop down here and you can change it to texture view and now you can see the texture or you can just press Z and go into material preview but whichever works for you. But now you can see we have this texture projected on here. So I'm going to go back into my layout and uh, let's start working on this butterfly here. Okay, this is a little bit more tricky than the wing, but we can do it. So we're going to go Shift A, we're going to add in a cube and I'm going to go into wireframe again. I'm going to move this cube to where the bee's head is. And I'm going to go S to scale it down like so. And what I'm going to do is going to tab into edit mode. I'm going to go R to rotate, S to scale like this and it's at a bit of an angle. I'm going to grab this face here. I'm going to go E to extrude, S to scale. I'm going to do the same thing here. E to extrude, S to scale. Place it here. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to select these faces here. Like that. This, this one and this one. And in the front view, I'm going to go Shift D to duplicate it. And then I'm going to select these two verts here at the front. I'm going to go E to extrude them down two times like that and now I've got this whole plate here at the front so I'm going to just select maybe this face over here I'm going to go S X or S Y S Y to flatten it a bit then control L just to select the whole thing and then in the front of a graphic I'm going to go E to extrude and I'm going to right click to let go and then I'm going to go Alt S and I'm going to scale out along the normal so Alt S like so there we go and then I'm going to press Control L to select the whole thing and let's go in a front view and let's just maybe move it in a little bit and you can select these individual faces and adjust them so we're just putting that in there now this is very rough at the moment but remember we are going to get a, a subdivision modifier on this so I'm going to maybe move this face here just rotate it E to extrude S to scale but you guys get the idea we're just building this rough shape here like this okay that's looking a lot better now what we're going to do is we're going to go to our modifier. Let's give this a subdivision surface modifier. And um, yeah, you can see obviously once you do that, you do have to come in here and just slightly adjust things. We're going to apply this later anyway, but you guys get the idea here of what we're doing. So there we go. Okay, now in object mode, right click and go shade smooth. So now we have the head starting. Now we're going to roughly model the body. So you can actually use the same topology. So let's just use that face in edit mode at the bottom here. Let's go E, Shift D to duplicate that face. Let's move it over here. R to rotate it. And let's go E to extrude. S to scale. Let's move it about here. And you can see this body has a lot more complexity to it, but we're really going to keep it simple. So we're just going to go E to extrude. R to rotate. S to scale. Go about here. And let's just keep extruding. 
and this is followed as body contour. E rotate it, E to extrude, S to scale, and we're gonna move in towards the end here. We're gonna go E to extrude, S to scale. And you can see it kind of bends here, so to towards the end here, we're just gonna go rotate it, E to extrude, S to scale. And let's just keep going. We're gonna go over here to the end, like so. Now we have this body here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go tab back out. We're gonna grab this and we're gonna to go to our materials. We're gonna to come to the drop down and give it that butterfly. And now it has the material. We're gonna quickly tab in. Let's just select this face over here at the top for this body. And let's just go E to extrude, extrude it in as to scale a bit. Okay, now we can go into our UV editing. We can go to our front view here. A to select everything and then we're gonna go U and we're gonna go project from view. And then over here, we're gonna take the body, S to scale, and let's take it and match it up as best as we can to the reference here. There we go. And now we can see over here, if you're in textured view or material preview, it is projected on there. And now we have the body. That's gonna look a lot better once we add some hair to it and stuff, but you gotta kind of see where we're going with this. So now let's go back to the layout and we're gonna use very similar techniques now to make the legs here, which are really simple. So let's start adding in a quick cube. Let's just scale it way down, bring it over here. Okay, let's just bring it down here to the bottom where this leg starts. We're gonna tab into edit mode. Let's rotate it slightly. I'm gonna go into wireframe. I'm gonna go into my face select, select the front face. I'm gonna rotate it and I'm gonna go E to extrude, S to scale a bit. E to extrude, S to scale it down. And then I'm just gonna go E to extrude as to scale, and I'm just gonna make a very simple leg by extruding and rotating, like so. And towards the end here, I'm gonna extrude up to where the knee would be here. I'm gonna just rotate it slightly. And then I'm gonna select this face here, and I'm gonna extrude that, and then I'm gonna move it by pressing G, and I'll rotate it, go S to scale. And now we kind of have this situation over here, like that. Then I'm just gonna select this face again over here. E to extrude. Keep it as low poly as possible. S to scale, E to extrude, scale it up a bit. E to extrude, S to scale. And then we're gonna go Shift D with this face, duplicate it, rotate it. Move it into here and then E to extrude, S to scale, E to extrude. Then we're gonna go Control R to add in a loop here, double click, select the bottom, face and then go E to extrude and then move it over here, rotate it, S to scale and then extrude one more time and then S to scale. So very, very simple. I'm gonna tab back out and let's give this a subdivision surface modifier. Right click and go shade smooth. And if you need to, you can come in here, add more topology to neaten it up, but you get the idea. We now have the leg. And what we're gonna do as well is we're gonna give this a mirror modifier. Let's set it to Y. Tab into edit mode, press A to select everything and go G, Y and move it. And if we have that origin point there in the middle, it should also work. And in our top view, we're just gonna slightly rotate it out like that. Now what we can do is we can also go to our materials and let's give this that same butterfly material. Let's go into our UV editing. In our front view, we're gonna go U, project from view. And then over here, we're gonna line that up with our leg as well. So let's just go S to scale. Let's move it over here, line that up. You guys get the idea. Now we're gonna um, go back to our layout and let's just select the body here. I'm just gonna slightly adjust it in edit mode just to kind of fill in these gaps here. I might grab the leg here, just move it in a bit. But you guys get the idea. We just want that to be embedded in there properly. And what are we gonna do now? So let's actually come and make these ones here. So I'm just gonna go Shift A, add in another little cube, move it up, scale it down. And let's do the same thing here. This one's gonna be really small. I'm gonna start over here with a cube. Let's just select the face. And then let's just extrude and scale, moving it around. And I'm just gonna follow one of these antenna and this will just give a solid material. So we're not even gonna project the UVs here. So it doesn't have to um, even line up 100% here. We just want it roughly in place. We just wanna get the idea 
of this antennae here. So we're going to extrude. It's pretty easy here. We're just extruding and scaling at this point. Scale, extrude, scale, extrude. You guys kind of get the idea by now. So there's the shape. And we're going to go give it a subdivision surface modifier. Right click and go shade smooth. And let's also give it a mirror. Make it Y. Tab into edit mode and then move it over. And then rotate it and move it out like so. Now we have that in the head, just looking cool. And if you wanted to, you can just duplicate this, bring it over here and then place one right here. And you can just go into edit mode if you need to and just with proportional editing, adjust that and try and match it up over here. So I'm going to grab this. It's not the neatest thing in the world. It doesn't have to be at the moment. Just going to bring this over here. There we go. And let's just extrude this here. And then that goes in here. And that should do. Okay. Now you guys get the idea. So we're going to select this one. And we're going to give that a material. Let's just call it um, antennae. And let's just go give that a base color and let's just make it kind of like a brownish yellowish kind of color and let's just grab this guy and let's give it that same material now if we go into our material preview we're starting to see what this butterfly is looking like so for now let's just also select the wing and with the wing active let's give that a mirror modifier let's set it to y and let's tab into edit mode and let's go move this over like so and we have our origin point in the middle so that's what we want. And in our top view, we're just gonna go R to rotate it. And we're gonna go G, Y and move it out like so. And um, make sure that it's still properly embedded in the butterfly. If you have to, you can select this little wing by itself. And you're gonna rotate that as well and move it out here. Now this can get a little bit tricky. So you're gonna to have to figure out how you're gonna place these but I'm just going to rotate it slightly, rotate it out like this, move it like that. And maybe rotate it up. Maybe grab this wing over here. I'm going to enable proportional editing, enable connector only. And then here at the end, we just have to kind of bring it so it touches the body here a little bit like that, just bending in slightly. Okay, that looks good. We're going to tab back out. Right click, go shade smooth. And let's also give this a subdivision surface modifier. And let's also on top of that, give it a solidify and just give it the slightest amount, amount of thickness like so. So now we have those wings. So now let's go into material preview and we can see this is what we have. So our butterfly is really starting to look a lot more like a butterfly. So go ahead and make sure to save. I'll just go to my desktop and save that. And then what you're going to do is let's just quickly start modeling this flower here. So we're going to go shift A, let's just add in a circle. Let's just go over here and make it 16 verts. And we're going to go G and move it down here to where the flower begins. We're going to go S to scale, R to rotate. Let's just apply the scale on that by going um, control A and applying the scale. And all the way down here, what we're going to do is we're going to tab to edit mode, go E to extrude. And we're just going to extrude along the stem here to make our little flower here. So we're going to keep going, extrude, rotate, extrude, rotate and extrude. And then towards the end here, we're going to go E to extrude as to scale a little bit. You can turn off proportional editing, E to extrude as to scale move it out and then you're going to go E to extrude as to scale E to extrude E to extrude and let's go like that another one and then we're going to go to our proportional editing we're just going to select these middle two like so and let's just go G and move it in now we're not going to make this 100% because we just want to approximate it so we're going to bring this in like so and let's just select this vertex here and this vertex here 
And let's go in the front view and go G, bring them in like so as well. So now we have this. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna tab back out and let's just go give us its own material. This is called plant, oops, plant. And let's just go to the base color here, give it an image texture. Come to the drop down and give it that butterfly. Now this has to be its own because we're gonna give it different parameters with the principal shader later. So we're gonna right click, go shade smooth. Let's give this a subdivision surface modifier. So now let's quickly go over to the UV editing and let's just go into the material preview, which I already am over here with the texture. So you just need to be able to see the texture. So now I'm gonna select this whole thing and let's go you and we're gonna go project from view and over here we're gonna do the exact same thing we did with the butterfly bits when I just grab them and we're gonna scale them and move them till it lines up over here and you can move the verts around in here a little bit if you have to so just getting it to line up like that and let's see what we can do here as well maybe bring that out Okay, so over here it's looking good. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab, go into edit mode, and I'm just going to select this first bit like this. And I'm gonna go Shift D to duplicate it, move it up, S to scale it down. And then I'm gonna select this outer vert, and I'm gonna go S and just slightly scale them out like that. Now we have that bit like so. And I'm also gonna give it a solidify modifier like so, and I'm gonna bring it into the negatives like that. And there we have that, so that's looking good. Um, yeah, so what we're gonna do now is go back to our layout. And the last thing we'll do for part one here is just make these little yellow um, pollen -y bits. So we're gonna go Shift A, let's just add in a curve, Bezier, G to move it over to the side, and let's just go to our curve parameters here. Let's just go over to geometry and under the bevel here we're going to give it some depth about this much we're going to tab into edit mode and we're going to press a to select everything we're going to right click and go subdivide so we have more handles then we're going to select this end handle we're going to go alt s and scale it then we're going to select the second handle point here and go alt s and scale it up and then we're going to grab this one down here and we're going to go alt s and scale it down and move it down a bit in our front view we're going to select the whole thing by pressing A and we're gonna go R to rotate all of the points and then G to move them up. And we want that origin point here to be in the bottom. That's very important. So now in edit mode still, we're gonna go Shift D to duplicate it. And we've got another one here. And let's go to our top view and let's rotate this one the other way. And we're just making a whole bunch of these random ones like this. So it looks a little bit different. Let's grab both of these. Let's go Shift D to duplicate. Let's rotate these two and let's give them a little bit different size, a little bit of a different rotation. Same with this one over here. Okay, I'm gonna press A to select all of them, right click and go subdivide to add more handles. And now you can really make them a little bit more unique. So you're gonna grab some of these. Then you're gonna press A to select all of them, go Shift D, rotate these, and let's give some of these a bit of a different height. Some of them will be a bit taller and some of them will kind of go out this way. Then press A to select all of them, Shift D, and let's just make a whole cluster of them like this. Okay, Shift D to duplicate. And at this point, you can now go in here, grab a few of them at random, make them a little bit longer, a little bit shorter. You guys kind of get the idea. We're just making these kind of pollen strands like this. And then we're gonna select the bottom ones, all of these handles, we're gonna go S to scale them. Now we've got this thing here. So we're gonna take that in object mode, scale it down, and then we're gonna bring it over here, S to scale it, R to rotate, and we're just gonna place it over here where the reference shows it. You might have to go to your top view and just move it here as well. But there we have it. We now have those pollen -y bits. Now let's just go to our materials, let's just go new, call it pollen. And uh, let's go ahead and give that a yellow color like this. Now if we go into a material preview, we're seeing, you can see where we're coming with this now, right? So I might just adjust it a little bit still in edit mode, but that's something you guys can do in your own time. This is just more of the idea 
of how to get to the stage here. So now we have our rough flower in place, we have a butterfly. So in part two, we're gonna start adding some more details to the butterfly. And then probably in the final part, we'll do the animation. So I'll see you guys for that. Check it out on my channel. And remember, this is available on Patreon if you wanna get the blend file.